How's it going guys? Jordan here from Viscom and today we're going to be talking about how I made this really cool boat animation all inside of Viscom. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to see when you go to app.viscom.com is the login page. So I'm just going to sign in with my Google account. And what you're going to want to do is create a new file. And here you can actually name the file. So I'm just going to name this boat animation and then start inside of the workbench. Now that we're inside the workbench, the workbench is essentially an infinity canvas where you can drag and drop images. So I'm just going to drag and drop these two images into the workbench of the speedboat. Um, and once that's done uploading, you can now see you have these two images that you can move around. So the first thing you'll see is you can click on this image. And once you click on it, you'll see this kind of plus sign come up. You can then click and drag this out and you'll see a menu of options. So what we're going to do is animate because that's what we want to do. So I'm going to click on animate and you'll see it'll turn into an animate block of sorts. So what you'll see here are a bunch of different settings. Uh, I know this can look like a lot, but we're not gonna go too deep into the settings, more so into how to actually get the animations. So I'm gonna keep everything as it is and just kind of describe what it is I wanna animate about this image. So the way to do this is by typing, let's say, speed boat <clears throat> going really fast through the water. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna click animate. And while that's animating, another thing we can do, say for example, you're stuck here, you're not exactly sure what to type about your image. So what you can do is click describe. And Viscom will essentially try to think about what it is it should say about the image to get the best animation out of it. So if you think about it, it says smooth forward acceleration with about with bow lifting slightly, propeller churn creating, trailing wake. So this is a lot more detailed than what I typed here, which was, I believe, a uh, boat moving in the water, something of that nature. So I'm gonna click create. I'm just gonna click animate. And then I'm gonna actually drag these up a little bit so we have a little bit more space. And I'm gonna, these will take about one to two minutes or so. And while that's kind of generating, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about the settings. So we have our start and end frame. I'll go into that right after this. And then here you have a bunch of different settings that tell you how long each of these will take to uh, render your animation. So I'm not gonna go super deep into that, but another thing is we'll also have these presets. So say for example, from this boat, we wanna go with the preset of just simply zooming in. So I'm gonna do that, get rid of my prompt, and then click animate as well, just so you guys can see how the presets are a way for you to kind of just not have to prompt too much, but you simply use these really simple camera motions to communicate what it is that you want to animate. So I'm going to come back and wait for these to finish. Okay, cool. So now these animations are done, I'm going to click play and see how they turned out. Whoa, that one's really cool. So it's moving really super fast here. Let's try the one that used the describe prompt. Oh, wow. It's super nice. You can actually see the water details extremely nicely here. So what we can actually do here is a few things. So now that we have these on the infinity canvas, these kind of act just like images. So we can move them around. You can keep them looping by pressing this loop button here. So if we click play, you can see these will just keep looping on the canvas no matter where I am. And what's awesome is you can make these full screen. So this is kind of the described prompt here. You can see the full size of the image, or I should say the video here and the format. Another thing is you can also then download the source image that created the animation itself. Um, and one other thing that's really cool is, is you can pause this video at any time and scrub through here to essentially kind of, let's say I like this frame. And then I can add this current frame back to the canvas here. And you can then maybe use that to further animate the, 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 the scene here. So, Another thing is if we kind of look at the preset animation we got here, you can see that, oh cool, we got the simple zoom in effect with just like the water subtly moving. And this came purely just from the zoom in preset, which was super helpful. So now I'm gonna show you guys how you can leverage this in frame here. So one thing you can do, I have another image here and I'm actually just going to drag and drop this as the in frame over here and you'll see the prompt block will just kind of connect to the image. And we now have start and end frame this boat and this boat. 
So I'm actually not going to describe anything. I'm just going to say anime and see how Viscom perceives, uh, you know, animating between those two frames. Now we have our start and end frame animation here. Let's play and see what we got. And you can see how it's now starting to interpolate between the two frames we have here. So I'm just going to drag these over so you guys can see what exactly happened here. So you can see we have our start and then end frame. And then you can see it kind of animates between these two frames. I'm gonna make this full screen and it's 10 seconds long. So these are all 10 second long animations. You can choose between five and 10. And then you can see the two source images we have here that created this. So super cool to see how this came to be. Um, and one thing last but not least guys that I wanted to cover if you click on any of these videos, you'll see a download button above it. And what you can basically do is just click the download button and you can export this as 2K or in 4K. These take a little bit longer to download. Original will be instantaneous. But all in all, guys, that is the final tutorial. Well, not the final, but hopefully one of the many more to come of how to animate your images inside of Viscom and all of your designs. So I hope you guys found that useful and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.